Today we're going to study the Brachot 58 and it's a fascinating study because we're going to have a lot of uh, discussion over Re'iya, a special blessing for amazing different things you see in your eyes, unusual a, um, situations. Um, it's a different phases of blessing on, uh, on those uh, circumstances. אמר אבי ירמיה בר אלעזר, 58, נתקללה בבל, נתקללו שכניה, נתקללה שמרון, נתברכו שכניה. רש"י, כלומר, אוי לרשע ואוי לשכנו. In my book, ביורה, כלומר, in רש"י, I explain, there is a concept that רש"י would bother here, what's the relationship between בבל and its neighbor. The, the statement said here, when Babylon was cursed, her neighbors was cursed as well. So the question is, what one has to do with the other? So um, Rashi explains, um, Woe to a, a wicked person and woe to his neighbor. In a simple way you say that um, it's like uh, the fellow congregant that owns a building and he said that it used to be uh, clean and uh, now it's uh, uh, filled with all kind of uh, cheaters and drug dealers so when it starts with uh, raising up to 70% of the, the uh, tenants then it's affected the entire building and sure enough everyone is uh, 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 not following the law in that sense in simple way there is effect if you have a neighbor that is involved with drugs it's affect the whole neighborhood uh, not only the real estate price, but also the environment in the neighborhood. Here they speak about Babel, Babylon, and its neighbor. So they said here that um, in Babylon it was a all kind of wild animals that goes around, and they said again it's ancient time, and as a result, it was uh, very unpleasant to live, and and it expanded not only in Babylon, but also to its neighbor. In Shomron, however, what they said, Nitkalela Shomron itbarchu shchenea, the Samaria was cursed, so his neighbor blessed, so the, the, um, the, the um, Farshim explained that that's applied to the vineyard. As you know that Shomron was blessed in several places that they, um, they have a uh, they have a lot of vineyards. So when you have vineyards, what happens is the neighbors um, um, have a blessing because there is a food around they can use the neighborhood uh, either to eat or to purchase. Now, the sources. The reason that, that the neighbor of Babylon were cursed it's because they said in a book of Isaiah, um, an I, meaning Hashem, the God, will make hell, which is Babylon, the estate of wild birds and pool of water. So as we said, that when you have a wild animals, so um, it's affected everyone, not only the Babylon, but also the neighbors. However, even with the which appears a curse for Shomron was a blessing for its neighbors, because it's written in the Vesamti Shomron Because the the Pasuk said in the book of Micah, the beginning, and I, meaning Hashem, will make Samaria a hip in the field, a place for plating vineyards. So, Samaria destroyed, but then they have a, um, in one hand, a destruction, but they have those vineyards. So those vineyards help not only the inhabitants of Samaria, but also the neighbors. And by the way, that's exactly what Rashi said in Dibu Amat Ka'at Vekipot, Chayot Ve'ofot Ra'im bad animals, white animals, affected the neighbors. Aval eya sadeu matai kerem, shenit kaluba are Israel. Those cities that destroy 
they have those vineyard hanaahi lashchenim. It's a joy for the neighbors. ואמר אבו הומנונה, הרואה אוכלוסי ישראל אומר, ברוך חכם ארזים. If you see a, a, a tremendous amount of, of a, a Jewish people, Rashi comment here and he said, חיל גדול של שישים רבו, which means 600,000 people. So uh, uh, you should say, bless are you God, master of the universe. Uh, uh, um, Chacham Arazim, the, uh, the God that uh, handed over the wisdom, um, um, uh, Rashi said, I know what is in the heart of God who knows what is in the heart of so many. Soon we explain it. If you see a multitude of people who worship idols, so you should say, Bosha Imchem, you mother, it's embarrassed. So um, again, uh, this apply uh, to a sentence in Jeremiah 50. Tanu Rabanan, Haroe Ochlusie Israel, Omer Baruch Hamarazim, one who sees 600,000 Jews, should say, Bless are you God, Master of the Universe, who bestow upon uh, his wisdom, upon the uh, his secret, upon uh, many, upon all those. Why? That their mind, their opinion, it's not similar. And their looks are different. You know the famous joke? Two Jews, five opinions. So you have here uh, 600,000 Jews, yet the Almighty God provided them with tremendous wisdom, and they look different, right? They uh, behave differently. So he says, they bless God that even they look so different, etc., and their opinion is so different. Uh, um, you know, they, they, they uh, Rambam said that the, um, uh, the person's mind reflects on his face. So, the, so the, the whole idea is that there are so many faces and so many opinions, so he blessed God for that. Speaks about 600,000 people. Ben Zoma. Ben Zoma is the great sage that was, according to Rashi here, never married. And uh, uh, Rashi El said that he never met, but also Rashi Hill said, Ashiraya ve'akol ba'in etzvores chorai was extremely wealthy and people come to him for business reasons. Uh, he was one of the darshanim, the Mishnah said at the end of Sotah that he was a tremendous speaker. He is the one who provided the famous Mishnah we studied recently, the beginning of chapter 4 in Ethics. Anyway, so he stood at the top of the... Um, of the um, uh, Temple Mount, and he blessed God, and he said, Baruch HaKham Arazim, the blessed that you just said, bless God who brings so much wisdom. Ben Zuma Ra'a Ochlusa Al Gav Ma'alei Ahar Abayit, Amar Baruch HaKham Arazim, Baruch Shecha Kolel L'Sham Sheni. And now he said something that looks a little awkward, but soon we understand. He said, and bless are you a God who creates all these to serve me. Why? Yes, people that were employees. Some cut, uh, some planted the seed, some cut it, some uh, watered it, some... Uh, it's a lot of preparations. So he blessed God for all those people who serve him. So um, th there are several explanations to understand what he meant. The simple explanation is that um, Ben Zoma was a, a rare personality and he was able to see not only the past but foresee the future and it's written in several places that Limota Mashiach, that the end of the days, what the Rambam also said we have a situation that we bless with many people um, that involve with service for our needs, meaning that's speaking about the era of the end of the days when the whole world recognized that this God is one and his name is one. So it will be the whole world in different perception. 
he merited to see it in his time, in a sense, what his um, uh, involvement. So the, the, the rabbi said that um, 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 it's not, God forbid, a yohara, it's not a hauntiness, but it's a recognition of, of a greatness of God. How? Who Hayaomer? He, meaning Ben Zoma, he used to say. Remember, whenever you use the term Hu Hayaomer, for example, in the Mishnayot in Pirkei Avot, in the Ethics of the Fathers, it's always not only the previous Mishnah, the Tana that mentioned in the Mishnah, but also something that he personally experienced, which is something that he learned from his personal lives. So he used to say, meaning Ben Zoma, Look, the first man, Adam, how much labor was involved in the preparations. He plowed, sowed the heaps, he gathered, you know, did a tremendous amount of preparations in order to have this bread. I'll go to the grocery store and purchase a bread and I have it ready made. So he was thinking when he said, Bless you God who uh, create all this to serve me, he meant to say that God provided a, a job for each and every one of, of them and I am blessed to have a, re, a ready product. Sometimes we don't even pay attention when you go to a store and you, you buy a, a, even soon you see a shirt, you don't know how much labor involved with that shirt. When you uh, buy a watch or you buy a, a basic food, like a bread, it's a, it's a tremendous amount of involvement with so many people before you put it in your mouth. So he was uh, uh, recognizing greatness of God by saying that. V'chama yagiot yagad amarishon Ad shematza begilil bosh. If you think about the first man, it was not a predecessor that prepared his garments. So he needs to do the whole preparation. And he gave example: gazaz, he sheared the wool, veli ben, and he cleaned it, veni pets, and he stained it, vetava, and he spun the thread, veagarag, he wove the thread. And then he find a proper garment to wear. Vani, how about me, meaning ourselves? Mashkim umotsekol ele metukanim lefanai. I go in the morning and the grocery store and I have the bread ready. I go to the mall or to the shop, I buy the, the, the suit or the, the garments. Rashi said here that. Um, she, she, in his case, soon, soon you see what uh, Rashi meant, but he basically wants to say that Kol umot shokdot uvaot lefetach beiti, meaning all the nations come and enter to my house, which means Rashi said here that he was wealthy, so everyone come to do business with him. Like we studied yesterday about Anshul Rothschild, 19th century, that uh, Franz Joseph, the emperor, used to go to him, and he has the biggest mansion in Austria at that time. Vani mashkim umotzekol lefanai, and I rise early in the morning, and find all the all of them before me. So he is basically thanking God for all of that. Who Ayaomer Ben Zoma used to say, and that's a very important lesson, very important. Oreach Tov Ma'omer. So the Marsha explains that there are guests and there are guests. He now going to define the difference between good guests and bad guests. What's the difference? Good guests say, Kamat Rachot Arach Balabayit Bishvili. Look how much arduous effort the horse took for me. 
כמה בשר הביא לפניי, how much meat he brought before me, כמה יין הביא לפניי, look all the preparations and the wine he brought me, כמה גלוסקאות הביא לפניי, so many different items, וכל מה שטרח לא טרח אליו בשבילי, and he put such a great effort only for me, that's a good guess. אבל אורח רע, מה הוא אומר? But a bad guest what he said. מה תורח טרח בעל הבית הזה? What did he did for me? פעד אחד אכלתי. He slices the bread and I ate one slice of bread. What's the big deal? He aborted for his family, for his wife, for his children, for his family. So I ate a slice of bread. What's the big deal? כוס אחד שתיתי. So you have a bottle of wine. You need to buy a bottle of wine anyway. So I, I drank one, one cup of wine. Come on. כל תורך שטרח בעל הבית זה, לא טרח אליו בשביל לשתור בניו. All the effort that the בעל הבית did is for whom? Is for uh, his wife and children. Not for me. So, in other words, you can have a guest in your house. Both of them can give you a gift when they walk in. And both of them can say thank you. But there is a bad guest and good guest. Good guest is someone who cannot appreciate enough and feels that it's all for him, all for his sake. Bad one, in our language, as uh, the Grah explained, is one who bad mouthing. Go out and say things. There are, look, uh, my wife and I hosts all for, almost for two decades. And people used to call our home Weisblum B&B, like Glenn and a few others used to, to point at us, which is a good uh, saying, like we are, we are a local do. motel, but... <laughs> Still do. Still do. So we, we, we love it and it's yep. wonderful. Mm -hmm. But over the years, I can attest over many years ago, for example, we have one time a guest, um, a grouchy uh, lady, and uh, at that time, you know, the Shabbos was long, it was uh, a yeah, summer time, mm -hmm. so the children were playing around, you know, going over the walls and jumping and doing all kinds of things in the house. And the next thing you hear, she bad-mouthing the children, you know, mm -hmm. that um, look at the rabbis, there is no televisions, and the children get bored on Shabbat, and look what they are doing, etc., etc. Just give you an example. And that lady, you know, uh, she's lonely, she never lived with, uh, you know, and we are good enough to treat her with royalty. So, just a small example. And then it come back to me, the way that speaks. So, it, it's the reality of life. There are guests and there are guests. And at that time, I said to my wife, we shouldn't denigrate our achnasat orchim that we try so hard. You know, if one person says something, we shouldn't take it seriously. But that's the reality. You have a good guest and you have a bad guest. So that's what Ben, ben, ben Zoma teaches us. That's called Oreach Tov. Al Oreach Tov, ma hu omer, concerning a good guest, what does the scripture say? Zchor ki tazgifa o lo, asher shoreru anashim. The book of Job said, um, remember so that we will um, aggredize his work, that men see. Remember that, that uh, Job was the one who has a guest and friends and friends quote and quote. He's saying Job, they said, therefore people fear him because he did not see the, the cry of the wise hearted. So, what does that mean? Job, when he was wealthy, everybody was his friend. Mm -hmm. And then when he lost everything, he left with three friends that traveled from far away and everybody else um, disappeared. Now we go back to our previous discussion about large crowd. So it's written, "Ve'ha'ish b'mei Shaul zaken baba anashim." They said in the book of Samuel, chapter 17, they said, and the man <coughs> in the days of King Shaul was old, and he came with men. Amar Rav v'itaym Rav Zvid v'itaym Rav Ushaya, ze Yishai Avid Avid. שיצא באוכלוסה, ונכנס באוכלוסה, ודרש באוכלוסה. ישי, the father of המלך דוד, was a גדול הדור, 
was the head of generation, but it also a Sar Tzavai, was the uh, chief of staff. So they said that he has a multitude in three different things. When he entered, when he, when he went, and when he uh, gave a lecture of Torah, which means he had the greatness in all different fields. Amar Ula, Naktinan ein uchlusa beravel, and Tana en uchlusa pchuta mishishim ribo. So there is a machloket between the Rambam and the Tur. Rambam hold halacha that since we are not in Eretz Israel, for example, in ancient time we are in Babylon. So if you see a six hundred thousand Jews, you do not say the blessings because that apply only when you live in Eretz Israel and you see six hundred thousand people. The tour hold that it's everywhere. But in general we said here that in order to use the term Uchlusia, which is multitude, you need to have at least six hundred thousand people together. Tanu Rabanan, Haroe Chachme Israel Omer Baruch Shechalak Mi Chochmato Lireav. If you see a um, great sages, you said, Blessed are you, God, who appointed of his wisdom to those who follow him, who fear him. Chachme of De Kochavim, Omer. If you see idolaters that they have some wise people, he said, Baruch Shenatan Mechokmato Livriotav, and the Vilna Gaon added Le Basar Vadam to a flesh, blood and flesh. הרואה מלכי ישראל אומר, ברוך שחלק מכבודו לירעיו. If you see a king among the Jews, you say, blessed are you God, who appointed his glory to those who owe him. מלכי עובדי כוכבים אומר, for those idolaters that they have the kings, you should say, ברוך שנתן מכבודו לבריאותיו. Bless you God, who gave his glory to his creatures. So the Beit Yosef in Reish Kav Dalet in 224 explains the difference. What's the difference between Chalak Mi that he gave from his wisdom to Natan Mi that he gave from his wisdom. Chalak and Natan, it's a two different meaning. So the Beit Yosef explained the Chalak Me, which means that Hashem is one unit. And from Hashem, He like gave from Himself, from His portion in our language, in our anthropomorphic human language, Hashem gave part of His wisdom to the sages, which means it's the wisdom of God, and they get, quote unquote, share a portion from God. And therefore, you said it with Shem Malchut, with full recognition. The idolaters, it's called in the sages' language, chitzonit, which means in the simple language is no attachment to God. It's something that it's around a outside wisdom. It's in, in, in that sense, it's not part of God itself. They said, Vayipach be'apav nishmat chayim. So the rabbis explained to us in the Zohar, Man de nafach, de mi tochei de nafach, which means God, in our essence, gave part of himself to the sages. So it's a different, according to Beit Yosef, see at length in Reish Kav Dalet, the meaning, the difference. Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Lo'olam ishtadel adam larutz likrat malchei Yisrael, ולא לקראת מלכי ישראל בלבד, אלא אפילו לקראת מלכי עובדי כוכבים. So a person should run and, and um, um, uh, exert himself to meet the king of Israel, but not only Israel, but also to idolaters. Why? שאם יזכה, that if he merit and he reach a world to come, יבחין, he will be able to recognize the difference between בין מלכי ישראל למלכי עובדי כוכבים, between the Jewish king and idolaters king. רב ששת 
Sagen Ahorava. Now we bring a incidence of Amora, Rav Sheshe, that was a blind person. The um, in Gemara and Psachim, page nine, elaborate on, on that. But we just give the story itself. Havu ka'azlei kule alma lekabule ape malka. It was a time that everyone ran to greet the king. Vekam azal bahadayu Rav Sheshet. Rav Sheshet went like everybody else to greet the king. Ashkechet uts doki. So it was a Sadducees. People think that they say in our times you see so many chain movements in Judaism and all this group of heretics, it's something new, enlightenment. The reality is that it was people who denigrate the sages even in that time. So that's the key that Sadducees said to Rav Sheshet, who was blind. He said to him, Amri le Hatzbele Nahara Kegan Elaya. Rashi said here, Hashvurim Leheichan, which those peaches go to river, which means where do a broken peaches go? What does that mean? So Rashi used the word Kloma, see in my book, I explain at length, but in short, Rashi Bada was the connection between the, the Mashal and Imshal, between the allegory, and he said, Lama olchim ve'afata she'ata suma ve'lo tireu le'chan telech? You are a blind person, and you cannot see the king, so why are you going out to greet the king? Right? Amar le'i, Rav Sheshet answered, and he said, Tachazi di'idana t'feminach. I can prove to you that even I'm blind physically, I can see when my eyes close, like we said in Shema. We close our eyes. We always say that there are two ways in Judaism. One, you open your eyes, and one, you close your eyes. When you open your eyes, you see all the tragedy, the tragedy, the tragedy in the world, and all the terrible things that they tell us in the uh, media. But then when you close your eyes, and you say Shema, you go back and you see our history, and you understand the world in a very different perception. Rav Sheshet was a giant scholar, and therefore he was able to see the world without the physical eye open. So he said, come and I show you that I can see much more than you. How? Chalaf gudna kamaita kika avsha. So it was a first group of troops. You see sometimes a very big dignitaries. You see all these motorcycles go before him and cars, right? So they saw the first truth pass by. So when they are very loud and pass by, Amar le'ahut tzedoki atamalka. So the tzedoki said, the king is here. Amar le'rav sheshet laka'ati. Rav sheshet said to him, you're wrong. The king is not here. Chalav gunda tinyana. So then they have the second troop pass by. Kika avsha. Again, the second troop became very loud. Amar le'ahutzduki hashta ka'ate malka. Now it's a second chance. They have the second group, and Tzeduki said, the, the king is here. Amar le'rav sheshet lo ka'ate malka. Rav sheshet said to him, no, you're wrong. The king is not here yet. Khalif telitai, and the third troop passed by, ka'ashadka. Everyone around was silent. Amar le Rav Sheshet vaday hashta ate malka. He says now definitely the king is here, is coming. Amar le Aruts Duki menalacha. The Tzduki asked him and said, "How do you know that?" Amar le Rav Sheshet responded and he said, "Malchuta de Ara kein malchuta dirkiya." They, they, I knew that they, here in this world is a reflection of the world to, of the world above. How? Dichtiv tze ve'amadta vahar lifnei Hashem. He said, "Go out instead in the mount before the Almighty God." This is the first book of King, chapter 19. Veine Hashem over, Veruach Gdola, Vechazak, Mefare Karim, Mushaber Slaim, if Nashim, Lova Ruach Hashem, Vahar Ruach Rash, Lova Rash Hashem, Vahar Esh, Lova Esh Hashem, Vahar Esh Kogmadaka. So they speak about God, and they said it was the stages. 
was first great win and he said it's not God is in a sense it's not yet appear with his full glory and that is great noise like earthquake God you don't see in a full glory and then you see fire it's not there and then it was a tremendous silence like still, still sound silent like we say in Tane Tokev we call it Mama Dakai Shamad it's nothing there then God appears so Avsheshet said to him that's the proof that here in this world, in our earthly world, is a reflection of the world to come. Meaning, the, the process you see here of three stages, it's a reflection of what happened in heaven. We said when we finish Kaddish, Oseh Shalom Bim Romav, may God will make peace in heaven, will make peace upon us. So what does that mean? So the rabbi said, tells us that we live in the world that reflected a world above, which means that there are entities in the world above that reflected um, the, the events here. If you see earthquake, it's something happened in the world above, etc. Ki Malka. So when the king finally came, Patach Rav Sheshed v'kam mevarechale. So Rav Sheshed bless him. And uh, he said the blessing we mentioned earlier. Amar le'ahot sedoki again. He tried to denigrate him, so he said to him, "Leman de lo chazit leikam mevarach." You cannot see the king, and you bless him. What's the idea here? So if you see in Shulchan Aruch, we don't have the time. In Reish Kav Dalit, Seif Dalit. So he explained at length. By Eretev goes, and he said that. What's the reason that Rav Shesha didn't see, yet he make the bracha? Anyway, so the Tzdoki, uh, like, almost making fun of him, and he said, you don't see the king, but yet you're making the bracha. So, the Gemara stopped here, didn't finish the story, but then we have a discussion. You see a situation that someone denigrated giant scholars who were blind, and making fun of him, and, you know, so what happened to that Seleucis? Ika de Amrei Chavroi Kachlin Hu Le'enei There is one uh, opinion Rashi said Nakru Le'enav that his friend, his colleagues uh, painted his eyes which means make him blind that's one interpretation another one Rav Sheshe Natan Bo Enav Bo Venasa Gal Shel Atzamor so they, they said, the Gemara said in Eruv in 21, it was several incidences in the entire Talmud, that when someone did something horrible, the sages put the, the eyes upon him, and he became a heap of bones, which basically killed him. So there are two ways to see it. One, it's because he belittled the, the seeing, the ability of seeing th the world without opening the eyes or because he uh, making fun of uh, Rav Sheshet. So either way, he was punished either by death or by being blind, measure for measure. Rabbi Sheila, Shila, Nagdei Laugavra de Baal Mitzrit. What one of the sages, he uh, gave a lashes, administered lashes to a fellow that have relation with a uh, Egyptian woman. So this guy, what did he do? He went to the, the authority, the Persian authority, and informed him. Informed against him. What did he say? Since the, the Persian king was in charge, so he said, there is a, a, um, a rabbi here that did a uh, rule of justice without going to the regular Persian court. Shadar alei pristaka, which means the Persian uh, king sent him, summoned him, supina him to come to the court of Shila. Kiata, when Avshila came there, Amrelei matam negadete lehai. What's the reason that you uh, give lashes to that fellow who gave you the right to do it? Amrelei deval hamarta. He said, This guy 
have relation with animal, with donkey. So, um, Amrele Itlach Sahade, so basically the Persian rules in those days was anyone who have um, relation with animals, they hung them, they kill them, death penalty. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, so they ask him, do you have a witnesses? Amalu, yes, hey. He said, yes, I have a witnesses. How it happens, that's a miracle in the Talmud, you see it in several places. Ata Eliyahu Admilei Keinish Ve'ashid. Eliyahu Navi came, and he was a guy, like a human, and he gave a test testimony. Amarlei, so the court said to Rav Shila, Ihachei Bar Ktalau. If he have relation with, with the donkey, we should kill him. Why you just give him a lashes? Since we uh, left our land, so uh, the death penalty we cannot administer but independently. That's what the Maharsha said. You are the, the authority who in charge here. So you do what you understand. The court now have a session and they have a discussion. Patach Rav Shila ve'amar. Rav Shila was so thankful to Hashem. So he said, Lecha Hashem agdula ve'agvura ve'atiferet ve'anetzach ve'ahod kichol b'shamayim u'v'aretz. He said in the Divrei Amim Chronicle 29, this is a sentence we said every morning, that you Hashem is the greatness, the strength, etc. Amrei lei maka amat. So the, the, the fellow said to him, what are you saying? Amalu Amina. This is what you said. Bricha Hamana, thank God, the Ahiv Malchuta Be'ara Ke'ein Malchuta Dirkia. That he reflects on earth the same kingdom that he have on heaven. V'yehav lechu shultana v'racha meidina. Um, that, that you have such a court that you court, meaning the, the people they ask him, what, what are you saying? He says, he bless you, that you court is a reflection of, um, um, of the court um, that uh, love justice. Rashi used the word, ohavim mishpat, that you are really people that do what is right. Hamulei, so they are so impressed, the judges in the court. So you appreciate our court so highly? They give him a rod. So there are two interpretations. Either physically get a, a stick or rod or they put him as part of the court. So now they have like a, a session break. Either he is in charge or he is the head of the court or he has a stick. Amar le'ahu gavra, so that man said to Rav Sheshet, Avid Rachman Anissa le'shakar e'hache? So he said, God gave you a miracle and you basically lying. You told them that I have relation with donkey and you know that I have relation with Egyptian, not with donkey. Amar lei Rav Shela said to him, Rasha, you are wicked. Lav chamare ikru, dikhti vasher besar chamorim besaram. Why you think I, I lie? This is the, the way that we call them in the Tanakh. They use the word where flesh is a flesh of donkeys. That is a sentence in the book of Ezekiel 23. Rav Sheshet saw that the man was going to tell them that he called them donkey, which means they are standing outside of the court and they have a session, that in a simple literal sense, because the Maharal explained it in a very diff diff different uh, um, Kabbalistic uh, way, but we are talking simply. So he said, This person is a pursuer. And we, we learned that Baba Machteret, 
uh, that uh, if a person, um, you know, it's in a sense of a death pursuer, so someone who planning to uh, commit a murder, before he kills you, you should kill, kill him. In Balor Gechash, Kem Logo, Machye, Bekulfa, Bekatli, Rav Shelet hit him with a rod and uh, kill him. So you see that uh, the same is Baba Machteret Bahul al Mamono, that the person can kill for money. So they see the situation that if a person is a Rodef, so you should initiate to be the first one to do it. Otherwise, he will kill you. So that's uh, what that's, uh, Rashi said. The fish of Balis can have a shot to dash him inside in Tenu to a hotel. Lota, Milat Mehamilat Silom Munhavu, Baladach, Kumalavog, Hamra to Ashkemata Vogel. Which means Rashi tells us if someone for money going to kill. So how much so if someone involved with um, uh, going to report you to the court and as a result made the, the judgment turn around against you and kill you. So he basically saved himself by killing the other fellow, the uh, Sadducees. Amar Rav Shila said, Ho'ilvit avid li nisa behaikra since I perform, it was a, such a perform miracle to the sentence Darshinale and again it's above the scope of our um, uh, learning but we just give the abbreviation Maharsha dealt with that at length and I highly recommend it to see the Maharal in the Hagdama uh, Likvurot uh, Hashem in the introduction to Likvurot Hashem the third uh, chapter he explained it at length לך השם הגדולה זו מעשה בראשית וכן הוא אומר עושה גדולות בן חקר now we go to that פסוק line by line and the, the explanation in short that Marsha and Maral said that this is a reflection of the seven spherot the very famous seven uh, spherot and each of them it's a reflection so he said um, um, לך הגדולה גדולה it's מעשה בראשית it's like the creation that's the first מידה the second one Vehagvura and the strength, Zoitiat Mitzrayim, that Exodus, Shenemar Vayasal Dagdola, hand, great hand, it's a symbol of Gevura. Vatiferet, that the third uh, Sephira, the splendor, Zohama Velvana, Shamdulol Yoshua, Shenemar Vaidoma Shemesh, Viyarea Hamad. The third one is the, is the um, sun and the moon, which stop for Yoshua, they said, that in the book of Yoshua they said in chapter 10 that, um, that it was a great miracle that suddenly this, the, it was a stop and the sun stood still and the moon stopped. Ve'anetzach, the triumph, again that's the number four, a sefira. Zoma palata shel romi, the fellow of Rome, v'chen umer, ve'yez nitzcham al b'gadai, their lifeblood, the triumph sprout, sprouter out of my garments. So again, this is from Isaiah 63, and that's the Sephira. So again, Rav Shila is also prognostic, prognostication. Uh, he gives the, the future prophecy. And the glory, that's the battle in the canyon of Arnon. We explained several pages uh, earlier the meaning of that pasuk, but in general there is a, said in the book of uh, War of Hashem, the gift the, at the Sea of Reeds, the canyon of Arnon. So that's from the book of Bamidbar, Numbers 21. Ki chol bashamayim uvaaretz, that everything in heaven and earth, zo milchem et sisra, the battle against sisra, shenemar, min shamayim nilchamu akuchavim silotam, that said in the book of uh, 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 Judges, from heaven they fought the stars and their courses, fought against Sisra. So the judges chapter 5 said it um, right after his death. Lecha Hashem HaMamlacha, that's the symbol of Malchut, the kingship. Zo Milchemet Amalek, that's the war against the nation Amalek, that's the nation that was the first one to attack us uh, at the beginning of ex uh, ex at the Exodus when we left Egypt. The hand of God is 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 on the throne of of glory, which is um, that um, they said in Exodus 17 
and that's applied to uh, kingshin. Um, um, Rashi explained when you use the word klomarsi in my book, I elaborate on that, but in general, alidei milchama la Hashem ba'amalek it alesiko, that God um, uh, uh, spread his greatness toward the wall of Amalek. You, you don't see, when you see the army, Lahavdi, you see the army marching. So you see the big march, you recognize how many for, uh, you know, um, forces they have. As long as you don't see it, you don't know how strong the army. The Havdil is the certain God that, that when you fight against the Malek, you see the greatness of God. Ve'amit Naseh, the next Sefira, the sovereignty, Zomil Chemet Gogumagog. That's apply to the, the Messianic era, the, the, the war of Gog and Magog in El Israel that is said in uh, yeah, many places, uh, Ezekiel, Zechariah, Yoel, Daniel. Gog, behold, I'm God against you, Gog. Nesi Rosh Meshech Betuval, the seven leader of Meshech and Tuval, which is Ezekiel 38. So, Lechol Rosh, on every leader, Amar Abchanan, Barav Amar Yochanan, Afilu Reish Gargirta, Min Shmaya Manulei, that even the supervisor of Ign uh, irrigation uh, it's appointed from heaven which means that everything it's um, it's um, heaven even um, Rashi said Bora even the well that was uh, served people it's also appointed from heaven so everything it's uh, by uh, the heaven and that's a prophecy also at the end of the day so he was very thankful and expressed the seven sefirot, but as we said, the Maharal elaborated that that's also a Kabbalistic interpretation of um, reflection of uh, world events and more. The Matnita Tana Mishmei de Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva taught in the, in the, um, in the Braita, Lecha Hashem Agdula Zukriyat Yam Suf. We have a different um, uh, approach. Hagdula, the greatness, is splitting of the sea. Ve'agvura, strength, zomakat bechorot, that's the, the last plague, the firstborn. Ve'atifere, the splendor, zomatan Torah, the giving the Torah. Ve'anetzach, and the triumph, zo Yerushalayim, it's uh, Jerusalem. Ve'ahod, the glory, it's the holy temple, shibane bimerabi ameinu. We are the second part of the daf, 58b, Tanu Rabanan. הרואה בתי ישראל בישובן אומר ברוך מציב גבול אלמנה בחורבנן אומר ברוך דיין האמת If you see the houses of uh, Israel when the inhabitants is especially what she said כגון בישוב בית שני especially during the time that they established in a second temple So he said bless are you who establishes the boundary of the widow Bechubanan, when it's the destroyer, said, Blessed God who is the true judge. That's what we said also at the time of hearing a bad news. But of the Kohomim Bishoram, Bed Geimi Sachashem, Bechubanan, and the Kamod Hashem, and the Kamod Ophia. So if you see the idolaters when they are successful, you said, Hashem will uproot the house of the arrogant. Which again, it's a expression from the Proverbs 15 that that's not going to be forever. But when they destroy, we said what we said every Wednesday, a God of vengeance, God of vengeance appear. Let's say, um, again, the, the uh, book of Psalm 94, he, he uh, said that that's something that God will do. Ula ve Rav Chizda avu karach az le beorcha. Ula in Rav Chizda, they're walking on the road. Kimatu apitcha de Rav Hanan bar Hanilai, negad Rav Chizda ve itnach. When they see the, the house of uh, Rabbi Bachanilai, which uh, was ruined, so he was uh, really, Rav Chizda was, uh, was broken hearted and he, he cried out, Amar Leula, Amai Kamitnacht, why you are basically um, uh, so broken? The Amar Rav Anachash Uver Chatzik Ufosh Ladam, Rav said that if you are really a uh, broken heart, it's break a in our language, half of the person's body. They said in the book of Ezekiel 21 
it said that uh, you, son of man, sigh with shattering of the lines. So he said, even it's not just have a body, even the entire body, because they said in, in Ezekiel 21, that when they ask you for what you are uh, crying out, you should say, because of the, I heard a bad report. How come I not uh, express a sor my sorry? I remember that he used to bake six, 60 um, uh, bake, baker. He have 60 bakers in his house, and uh, all of a sudden it's uh, ruined. We shit in the fiata belaila, the same 60 in at night. We have to the tzrich. They used to disperse so much good to all these people in the need. We losha kaliada min kisa. The sabar dil maate ani bar tovim, but mati lechisa kamichsif, which means he have the 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 money out. So he didn't put it in his pocket. Why? He said because maybe a poor person will come in and he asks for money for tzedakah and meanwhile he waiting while I put my head in the pocket to pull out the tzedakah and give it to him and meanwhile he has embarrassment to wait and he maybe go away until I, I pick up the money. So he used to um, uh, to give such a charity, a charity to, to everyone and it's open and ready. And he have his uh, door gates open to for the direction of the world. And it was those years of 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 um, of uh, poverty. And a person walk in uh, hungry and walk out satisfied. And they throw wheat to barley outside the year of famine. If people embarrassed to collect uh, food during the day, so they come at night so no one see them. So now the house is falling in a heap of rubbles and I don't, I shouldn't feel a broken heart. So he responded and he said, מיום שחרב בית המקדש נגזרה גזרה על בתיהם של צדיקים שיחרבו On the day that the Beit HaMikdash, the Holy Temple destroy It was a decree that all the houses of the righteous will destroy שנאמר באוזני השם צבקות אם לא בתים רבים לשמה יהיו גדולים וטובים מהן יושב The word of Hashem said that That uh, great uh, houses of, uh, of great uh, people will be uh, inhabitants Rabbi Yochanan, but Rabbi Yochanan also said, Atid HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lachziran Neishuban But the Holy One will restore them to their inhabitants. Shneemar, Shira Ma'alut LeDavid, Abodchim HaShem Ke'ar Tzion, a song of essence, those who trust Hashem are like Mount Zion. So that said in Psalm 125. Ma Har Tzion, the same way that Har Tzion, Mount Zion, Atid HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lachziro Neishuvo, that God is going to uh, re-inhabit the house of Zion, Av Batem Shul Tzadikim, also the house of the righteous, Atid HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lach Ziran Yishuvam, that God um, 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 will, uh, will re-institute and uh, re-inhabit the house of the righteous. Chaz Yed Lom Yashab Da'at Eula realized that Rav Chizda is still not, mine is not his, his. Amar Le Dayol HaEved Shiye Kerabo, so if you see the Beit HaMikdash destroy, so we are the servant, so it's like a reflection of the Master. If the Master, which is the Beit HaMikdash, destroy, so then what are you expecting from... And I can attest to that in uh, several years ago, in 05, when they had the Gush Katif, the eviction of 10,000 Jews from their homes, and you see Jews going against Jews and doing uh, such a thing, that was a reflection of something that break our hearts to see what happened to 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 uh, the houses of of people in Israel and how things turn around. So, but we believe the same prophecy that things will turn around for good. Tanu Rabbanan, Oreh Kivrei Yisrael Omer Baruch Hashem, Atzar Etchem Badim, Vezan Etchem Badim, Vechlekel Etchem Badim, Vasav Etchem Badim, Vadim Dati Lakim Etchem Badim. So the post can disagree if it's a kever or kivrei, but basically, if you go to the cemetery, you see a big sign at the entrance. They say this bracha. They said, "Blessed are you, God, who created you in judgment, 
uh, fed you in judgment, sustain you in judgment, and gather you in, in judge, the world of, of the souls in judgment, and in the future we raise you in the, the resurrection of the dead in judgment. That's the way, by the way, we have it in a cemetery, that it's also God knows the number of all you, all of you, and He in the future will revive and, so, and support you. Blessed are you, God, Master of the Universe, uh, who um, resurrect the dead. So it's a side note, the Tzlach is a big hakira, a big discussion in the in the whole idea of um, uh, resurrections, the Gilgul Neshamot, the, the transmigration of souls. So, um, as you know, that um, um, we discuss uh, what they said, Rabbi Chaim Vital said in the in Sefer Gilgulim, that they, they are a, a situation that people come back in a different form of soul. So the Tzlach asks, when you talk about the resurrection of the dead, which body will come back with the soul. The first, the second, how it's going to work. What exactly they meant to say that uh, God is going to resurrect the dead. How, which part are we talking here? But again, it's above the scope of this discussion. It's just those who want to see it, you can read in the Tzlach. Yes, there's a Chakira on this. Kivrev de Kochavim Boshayim Chem. Let's say if you see the grave of idolaters. אמר רבי יהושע בן לוי ירו את חברו לאחר שלושים יום אומר ברוך שהחיינו וקיימנו וגיימנו לזמן הזה לאחר שני מעשר חודש אומר ברוך מחיה מתים So if you see your friends so you said שהחיינו after thirty days and after twelve months you said basically God who resurrected the dead so there are two opinions one is the Rosh and one is the Rambam and the Marsha so uh, I'm not going to all of that, just the abbreviation. As you know, that during the days of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, so it's a it's a judgment if a person deserves to live another year or not. Avinu Malkeinu, Kodveinu, Chotmeinu, Besefer Chaim Tovi. So if you see someone who passed the year, you said, "Blessed be God who resurrected the dead." One interpretation. There are others. But I highly recommend it to see the Shulchan Aruch in Reish Kav Dalet and Reish Kav Chet. It brings all the different halachot. Uh, we just do abbreviation here. Omar Rav, Ena Melech Mishtak, Ena Melech Mishtakach Milalev Lachar Shnei Masar Chodesh Shnei Mar Nishkachim Gerem Et Pnei Lev. It's clearly obvious. Because David said in the book of uh, uh, Psalms that I have become forgotten, like a dead. So he said that the, 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 the dead is not forgotten only after the 12 months, which means that this is special gzeira. Rabbi Yonan said that, uh, that um, um, uh, it's, a, it's like a decree that uh, after 12 months done, so it's like it's, uh, otherwise people cannot carry it. And, and the others elaborated and said the same as Shabbat Aveda, the same as returning a lost. Uh, if someone lose something. So uh, his concept of Yehush, that give up hope, so we said if you find some articles and you put an ad and you wait 12 months and no one comes to collect that lost item, so you are now owning that item. So the same way applied to the dead. It's 12 months past, so it's uh, forgotten from the heart. Rav Papa and Rav Huna and Rav Yeshua and Kazel Borcha. The great rabbis walk along the road. Pagu and Rav Chanina and Rav Ika. They saw another great sage. Amulei. He was um, one of the giants, uh, like in our language, walking computer. So they said, Behade the Chazim Barchina leitarte. When you see you, he gave it two brachas. Why? Because he was a tremendous sage. So he said, Baruch Hashem Chalak Mechokmatoli. I bless you, God, Master of the Universe, who appointed of His wisdom to those who fear Him. ושהחיינו, and also the blessing of שהחיינו. אמר לו, אנא נמי, כיוון דחזתינו, חשבתינו אל אבי. כשיתין רבן בית ישראל, when I saw you, I, th I thought about the 60 million of the Jewish people, who were in a loud lata. So I give you three blessings. הנך תרתי, the two, which is for the great wisdom in שהחיינו, and also, ובואו חכם הרזים. You remember we said about חכם הרזים, 600,000, so that's applied to you, that 
he uh, uh, appreciate the wisdom as as uh, six hundred thousand. Amulecha kimat cholei. They said that um, as you are clever as uh, all of that, Yahweh beinayu v'shachim. So they said the eyes upon him and he died. So there are two ways to understand what happened. The, the, um, um, uh, one way is the Bach that said that he displays a, a clever attitude toward the law. That's one way. There is another way that, uh, the, that like he make a bracha levatala, that he make a blessing in vain um, um, again. Uh, because um, make that. But uh, there are others who hold that he know the um, uh, because uh, the chokmat apartzuf to know the, the recognition of a person face um, it's a um, it's a, like a prophecy uh, it's a special ability that um, from the time the Beit Hamikdash uh, it's no one um, can have it but as we said that uh, it's a um, it's a different opinion what exactly um, the reason for uh, that incident Amar Yishua ben Levi. If you see a, a spotted people, you should say, Blessed God who diversified the creatures. Right? Right? If you see all kind of weird characters, um, like someone who's a uh, extremely um, white skin or someone who's a, a, a very short, extremely short or a hundrikos, a person with war it's all kind of weird, so you said Abriot, God who diversified the creature because God is the creator if you see someone, God forbid, with a hand amputate a blind person, etc., all kind of, of uh, diseases or sickness, we said, Bless you, God, who uh, is a true judge. Now, it's a little bit um, different because previously Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said that, um, that um, it's a different. Uh, so he said, Lokashia, Hamimei, We differentiate between someone who's born like that or someone who unfortunately have some t- something, some accidents or some some terrible um, situation that it turned to be like that. We um, uh, we have to be very uh, cautious when we read this writer because they said it's mentioned the same as uh, someone who's amputate. So amputate shmamina. That amputate is not a person that was born amputate. So therefore, it has to be something that happened later. Tanu Rabbanan, a red pill, kof vekipov, omer baruch meshonet abriot. If you see an elephant, monkey, and all, she said, "Bless our God who diversified the, the creature." Ra abriot tovot vilanot tovot. If you see a beautiful creatures or beautiful trees, omer baruch shekach alo bolamo. Bless our God who is such in His world. Again, there is a lot uh, of interpretation because. Um, some say that um, since the whole world belongs to God and um, it's very difficult to define a specific blessing so he just said Allah zikim like a demon my zikin amar shmol kochavad is shavit is one interpretation it's the the uh, shavit like one of the stars others say that it's demon so he said um, 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 uh, the ingeniousness of the rabbis in that time that Shmuel said he was able to see the, the path in heaven like in our modern language astrologists the same as Naharda Naharda was the city that they live it's a um, uh, he knew the stars in the sky and understand it excluding one Kochva de Shavit the Lord of Maniu Gmir de Lavad Kislavi Avar Kislach Rav Alma so I don't, uh, I, I, this one I'm not uh, in full uh, understanding because uh, they, they said that they pass the place called uh, Constellation of Ksil and Rashi said here that Ksil it's the, um, it's like Kisla it's, um, it's uh, mentioned in the book of Amos which is a uh, elongated uh, so if he pass the, the world destroyed so um, 
again, that part he didn't, so they said, but you see that the, the pestos still says ziveu de avar, it said the glow, but not mitchik de zavariu, it appears like he passed. Ravuna Bred Ravushu Amar, Vilon hu de Mikara, the firmament of Vilon is tor, umecheze neora de Rikia. And you see the, 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 the light of Rikia again, that's the great ability of the sages at that time. Ravi Ashi Amar, Kochava hu de Akar Magis Alechisla, it was a star that we moved from one side of Kesil, Bechaze lechabrei de Mehai. And, um, and again, there are those who say that that applied to Zikin, or Tosfot said that um, um, unlike Rashi, that um, um, it's a two different way to see it. One is like really pass, and one it's appear. It looks like Shmuel Rami. It's two psukim that one contradicted the other. One said in the book of Job, the name of consolation, that he make ash, ksil, and kima. And the other one, is said, osech, kima, uksil, in the book of Amos, chapter 5, he make a kina in ksil, akesad, in malechu, mashel ksil, that if it's not for the heat of ksil, again, it's the name of one of those entities, lo nitkare molam pnei tzina shel kima. The world will not survive. Because it, the other way around that Hashem created is the Kima. Vilmalei tzina shel Kima, without the call of Kima, lo nitkem olam, mipnei chuma shel ksil. Which means you need always the balance, that uh, you need to have the both of them. You need to have, uh, in order to maintain the world, is like the, um, the consolation in the, in the world above. You need to have the balance between the heat and the cold, in order the world, the world to survive. Gmirei, i lav uktsa de akraba, de akraba. The manach behar dinur, if without the kima, that place in a place called dinur, dinur is part of the place that Daniel in his vision mentioned. He said that the kol man the hava trika le akraba lo achai, that anyone who beaten by a scorpion, he will not be able to survive. The hainu de kamer le rachmana le iyov, that's what the the God said to Job. Hit kasher ma adanot kima o moshchot ksil tefateach. They said in the book of Job 38 that God told him, Could you tie your bone of Kima and lessen the um, uh, snackless of Ksil? Which means, My Kima, Amar Shmuel, Kemea Kochvei, it's like a hundred stars. Amar Lekidmekanfe, Valendimadran. He said that they are gathered together and they said that they are scattered. My Ash, what is the Ash? Again, part of the Pasuk, Amar of Yuda, Yota. He said the constellation on Yota. My Yota. Again, if you look at the, the stars, you see that there is a, a one looks like a ram and one looks like the head of the bull. So two different ways to see the uh, Rashi said that there is a, a different um, a, um, a way to, to look at it. Certain stars look like a tail and certain looks like a bull. Znavtale, dikti ve'ayish al bnei tenachem. We agree, we hold that is like a, a tail of a ram. That they said that we could comfort Aish and his children. That's Job 38. Alma chasra u mitchazia, which evidently that the ash it's a, a missing like a star, and you know that is a tail of ram appears. Ketar father taif. It's like a been beaten. By um, <coughs> Rashi said, which means it looks like part of that was taken. That is not full; it's taken from um, from from it. Uh, from it. Several halachot. Shulchan Aruch, Or Achaim, Reish Kav Dalit. Aru Aruch, Vlusi Yisrael, Aru Eshishim Ribo Mi Yisrael. Omer Baruch Chacham Arazim. If one sees six hundred thousand uh, Jews, maybe it will happen because in the Sea of we have ninety-two thousand. Right, so maybe it happens soon. So he said a special bracha, the the Baruch Hashem Arazim. Next, Aroe Chachme Israel, Mevarech Baruch Shechalak Mechumatoli Reav, Chachme Umot Agdolim Bemada Shnatan Mechumatoli Basar Vadam. So if you see a great sage, uh, he said, God, thank God, we share with them, but um, 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 to those who fear him. But if you see the idolaters, so you say that give from Chochmah Chitzonit, from uh, the, um, 
the uh, general wisdom to them. To Gram Mivilna said the Basar Vadam to 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 flesh and blood. So he, we explained earlier that it's like the sages have part of of kedusha of the of the greatness of God that that's not giving to anyone else but those only who involve in alacha. The next uh, alacha is the Aroe uh, Bate Israel. So if someone Aroe uh, Bate Israel be Yishuvam, Omer Baruch Matziv Gvul Al Manna. This is a Shulchan Aruch Reish Kavdalet 224. One who sees the house of Israel who said that uh, blessed God uh, who who uh, um, uh, bestow borrower of the widow because uh, it's a re-establishment Ubechurbanan, if you see the houses that destroy you said both the Anna Emet blessed you God with the true judge and so the Morgan of Rome said that it's Davka Beretz Israel it's especially in Eretz Israel if you see for example the houses uh, in Gush Katif that they evicted 10,000 Jews you see these houses demolished so that's what you said V'yesh Poskim kem dubav batei knesen bilvad they, according to the reef and the marshal, he said that that's apply only to shul. So if you go again, if you go to that area, Gush Katif, you see it's a huge yeshiva and shul that demolished. Beside of being broken heart, you can say this both then I met. Blessed you God, the true judge. But as we said, we believe that at the end of the day is everything reverse. So the Taz said, if you see the houses of uh, idolatries, uh, when they stand, you should say bed geim. You should say that um, that's uh, houses of uh, people who are uh, basically super serious or arrogant, and uh, it will the uh, house of worship will destroy. That's what the taz. And by every tev add to that, and he said bechur banam and nekamot Hashem. That's specifically in the house of idols. So you said that uh, if they destroy, you said El Nekamot Hashem, what we said every Wednesday, that God is God of, of uh, judgment and is God of vengeance. Then, Haroe um, Kivre uh, Israel, if, uh, if you see the grave of uh, Jewish people, so you said, Asher Atzar Badin, if you look at the cemetery, you see outside the big sign of this bracha, for the full bracha, according to the Mishnah Bura said that that's according to the way that we said in this Gemara that um, uh, those graves. Uh, if you see uh, your friend after 30 days you don't see him and you're very happy, you can say the Bikat Shechiyanu, and after 12 months, he said in Reish Cafe in 225, Bless you God who revives the dead, and that's the Rambam also hold in the Hilchot Brachot 102. So Shulchan Aruch said, if you see a weird animal, so very weird people, so he said, Baruch Meshana Abriot, bless you God who make it in the, in the way that um, you change it in the way that God wishes to so make creatures different. If you see someone has a mum, has a deficiency or so injury, says, Bless you, God, who is a true judge. So he says, If you see that um, exceptionally beautiful people, animals, trees, so he said, Bless you, God, who such a things in the world. And you shouldn't repeat that only if you see something beautiful. And, and now if you see Kochav Shavit, if you see a comet, the star. So he said, Baruch Shekach Alobolamo. The Rambam said, Nechot Brachot 10, that he said, uh, Bless you God who is such tiding in his world, um, but it's not a second time, only if you see it one time. And if you look at the Sidurim, you see that they have... Uh, uh, yeah, those blessings in the Sidurim um, in the, um, in the um, very special sec uh, section. Now Tosfot add two things. Number one, he said, if you see your friend uh, after 30 year, uh, days, he says, Shechianu, he said, Omer Rabbeinu Yitzchak, Davka Chaveiro Achaviv Alav. Aval Be'in El Acherlo, if you see exceptionally best close friend, someone that you are really extremely connected, then after 30 days you can say Shekhyano. But just a friend, 
you know, from the Facebook, you don't need to say it. And another thing is, <laughs> they said here, a, um, all this uh, um, uh, idea that uh, we explained in the Seventh Spirot, I want, again, to encourage you to see the Maharal. The Maharal uh, elaborate very much on the Seventh Spirot and all the explanation of this Gemara Sugya that we studied today in a very different Kabbalistic, mystical, esoteric way, which was above the scope of this shield.